Well, hello everyone, the Alternative Gamer, and today we're playing a game called Thief. Okay. So this game, in case you can't tell, is fairly similar to Pac-Man. Uh, Thief was developed by uh, a company, Pacific Novelty, who also published the game. Oh, but don't get me, please. Okay, so... This game has some audio issues right now, which I'm probably going to cut out because I don't I don't feel like destroying your ears. So you get money for destroying cars. This is actually the uh, first GTA game. Yeah, but no. But this is a this is not a bad game. I don't understand what the whole deal is with the uh, pixel sprites in between these black areas, which I'm assuming are supposed to be roads. Oh, you don't see me. Okay. Uh, so I got two more money signs I can use. Probably gonna make the move there. Good, good. He ignore me. Oh, that was almost stupid. All right, cool. Let's go rack up some more monies. <laughs> I like how the uh, particle effects appears on the other si uh, on the other side of the wall when you blow them up. Oh, that's a lovely line of cards right there. I'll take that, that, that. Oh, go away, go away. Oh, I could have had that. I babied out, chickened out, whatever. Oh, not fast enough. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. That was a lot of colors. It's going to be interesting to see because the audio overall is not too bad, but the constant, uh, like, I don't know, was glitching or whatever. I, I can't get it to go away no matter what I do with the emulator, so. Alright, there we go. Level 1 completed. Yay. I'm a loiterer. Woohoo. Alright. $6,000 worth of crimes. Oh, wow. The maze definitely varies off a whole lot more than Pac-Man. The other thing that's interesting is that these, uh, I guess these are police cars. Uh, they, they hang out, uh, they spawn in different areas and they all spawn at once. It's not like in Pac-Man where you have like all the ghosts starting in the middle and then they all just kind of flow out at, as time goes on. Wow, you guys are really after me. <sighs> Shoot, I wanted that. Oh, I thought I had it. Kaboosh. Oh boy, last chance. All right, God mode time. Let's go. <laughs> that could have ended very badly right there. Uh, okay, cool. He ignored me. So I'm guessing these guys can't turn around. Yeah, I don't like these one-way paths. Oh my god, get off my butt. I don't like these one-way paths where there's just like, you have to go that way. I did it again! Best criminal ever. Crime doesn't pay, kids. Don't. Don't do it. Alright, may or may not do another round. And then how long this goes. Alright, we're back. Last time we got not very far into the first one, to the first wave, first round. Let's see if we can do any better. Okay, I got it that time. So have anyone ever played this game in a, an old coin op arcade? Uh, did the explosion and particle effects ever go off the side of the screen? Like, yeah, you may see it in a few minutes. But when I blow up a, uh, when a vehicle blows up over on the side, the uh, particle effects, jeez, the particle effects go extend up to the, uh, should have gone right, that was stupid. The particle effects expend, extend over to the other side, so I don't know if that's is a product of the emulator, or if that's actually how the game was designed. Money, 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 money. On the whole, I like this game. Aside from the audio glitching, it's the controls are responsive, it's entertaining to play. It's very clear what you have to do. Uh, maybe that's just because I've played Pac-Man a bunch, so I know how this game works. I can definitely see myself as the kid who's just sitting on this machine for hours on end trying to beat this one level. Ah, that was dumb. We see a minor seizure warning every time I die. <sighs> All right, keep going. 
So I think there's is there is a little bit of stealth on because if anyone's ever played Pac-Man a bunch, they know that uh Blinky, the red ghost, he chases after you if he spots you. And you while you can outpace him, you still have to deal with that. In this game, I'm pretty sure all the cars will chase you. Wow, nothing I could have done there. Alright, last chance. Let's see if I can outperform my previous poor attempt. I still have these two money things as well. Jeez, okay, come on now. Let's just, let's, no, no more messing around. I lied, a little bit of messing around. So, like, it's interesting, like, in Pac-Man, like, he gets, like, a super power pellet, or whatever you want to call it, like, a super pellet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm lettering again. Like, in Pac-Man, he gets a super pellet, which makes the ghosts vulnerable to him. So that kind of makes sense in terms of the way the game works. In this, I'm picking up big chunks of money, and all of a sudden, the cops are not getting me. So am I, like, using this money, this big, these big pockets of money to buy a gun or something? I have to check and see how much, how much it is. It's $100, so... I guess you, I'm pretty sure you can get a gun for that much. Uh, I gotta say, one thing I do appreciate, and from a design perspective at least, uh, the mesas are not symmetrical. So, like, if you look here, this on the right side, uh, where I just was, there's only, like, one channel, only one path. As I try to avoid getting destroyed. But, uh, on the left side, there's a bunch of different paths. Okay, fools, run from me. Oh, wow, that's a big bonus. And we have glitchy zeros. Fun. The interesting thing is that uh, it's almost against your best interest in terms of survivability to kill these guys. Because they respawn immediately, albeit uh, elsewhere on the map. Because in Pac-Man, when you... Oh, you scared me. Whew. But in Pac-Man, when you pick up your power-up, the ghosts become like little eyes that float away and have to go back and... Get, have like a respawn timer, damn it, and have the respawn timer at their spawn. This thing that they spawn right back in. Crime wasn't paid, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that's gonna do it for me. So this is gonna be interesting to see how audio goes out because I may have to just straight up mute the computer's audio. So this has been Thief. It's been the Alternative Gamer. Peace out.